Gatekeeper, we advise to immediately fall to the Over. Gatekeeper, this is Fortress. Say again, you're breaking up. Over. Son of a bitch. Sir, I can try Morse code. Should get through clear. No time. The destroyers on our tail won't pause and wait for us. Order, sir. You're gonna fire up radar, sonar, and every single scanner you got. I need to know what the fuck we are sailing into. It's the worst goddamn three hours of my life. Not exactly the ride home I was looking for. There's the Valkyrie. Yeah. Sailing right into a death trap. Hook up! Hook up! You gonna be okay? Raw Rabbit and MREs. Testing my steel. Son of a bitch! Check! Static! Live! You gonna throw up? For the enemies on the ground. Check! Equipment! Boots on fucking ground, Wrecker! Boots on fucking ground! Low drop! Alrighty guys, welcome back to the very last part, chapter 7 of, I almost said Dead Space, of Battlefield 4. This is the mission called Suez, and we are flying, we are being airdropped onto the USS Valkyrie, which is right there. And we are heading into the Suez Canal, which is basically just a death trap for the Valkyrie, um, because Chang's warship is actually there. I think that's actually his warship right there, off to the left right there. It's one of the destroyers. But we need to, essentially, we're saving the Valkyrie. We're going to liberate it from Chang's troops that are already on it, and then we're just going to save it from anything else that's attacking it. I'm going to fire off a couple grenades, because there are some troops on the ground right there. I am, I think, hmm, what am I going to get? I'm going to keep the grenade launcher, but I don't know if I'm going to get... Oh, wait, no, no, it's my, it's not one of my main weapons. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get the, uh... I'm gonna grab the SAR 20. No, 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 M416. Forgot we had that. And then we're gonna get the MK11. Or standard weapons for going throughout the game. Like, uh, like I've said, I think I said this in chapter one, and I've tried to at least kind of reference back to that or mention it in most chapters. Just, ow, crap. Yeah, they needed us out there. I just, I, I was paying too much attention to my commentary, and I got naded out. But like I said, in the first couple of chapters you play with the guns that you're you're best equipped with i i'm best you know going against any f sort of uh, uh, any sort of foe with an m416 and with the mk11 mod that's just you know that's how i operate that's how i work best that's my top of the line combat you know effectiveness you know if i have those guns i can take out the majority of my foes no problem uh, you know, I'm just, uh, that that's how I am good at this game. That's, you know, I'm using the guns that I, my play style, that's what I was looking for, play style. Play to your play style. Uh, you know, if you're like machine gunners, you like to suppress enemies, have your teammates take them down, well, you might want to look into a different tactic for campaign, because that's not going to work, ah, I'm getting flashbanged. That's not going to work too well, considering your teammates are AIs, and they're not really, you can't communicate with them, and they're not exactly always going to shoot the guys that you're suppressing just to they're going to generally shoot the same guys until they are dead and then they're going to move on to the next people sometimes they'll just ignore the enemy altogether like you've seen some in some parts they'll just walk by enemies i think they did that last episode a lot and i mean a lot all right we got that guy down Ooh, right there there you're dead so there are three different in three yeah yeah three different endings to Battlefield 4. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and hmm I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna pick. That's my first one. Oh damn 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 I am oh shit they destroyed my cover okay I am going to fall back. 
Ooh, damn, I ain't. They are really just suppressing us. Can we get that guy? Oh, I got him! Headshot! Uh, that was, a, that was actually an impressive shot. I'm quite pleased with that shot. Or shots. It's kind of narrowing it down and just spraying and praying after a while, but I did do pretty well. Another thing you gotta pay attention to, that, you know, I'm kinda just recapping this last part with my overall advice. I got an upload clip. Never did turn those off. I was editing some of my earlier chapters of stuff and, um, uh, was yelling at myself to turn those off, you know, remind myself in the video, turn them off. Never did turn them off. I wonder when I'm actually gonna do that and stop being lazy. Ooh, gotta get down. I am. Yeah, whenever you go bl black and white like that, if you know, didn't take the hint already. Get the cover. You know, one of the best, one of the best times to get the cover is when you're black and white because you like quite literally take a, one more bullet from any gun, you're gonna die. All right, so this first part, uh, there, there's three endings to the Battlefield 4 campaign, and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna choose. There's one that's uh, quote Hannah's ending, other is Irish's ending, and the other is Pax ending slash the USS Valkyrie's ending. And I'll, I'll get more into them. I'm gonna show all three of them in this video. Odds are, what will happen is, you know, I'm gonna play play through the game like I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna show you one of the endings, and then I'm just gonna do a transition. And play through the you know last part of the game where you get to pick the ending uh, two more times and show you the second and third endings. So my favorite ending, probably the one I'm gonna be uh, end up doing. Um, this is it, it's probably Pax ending, but that's <laughs> that kind of makes me look bad because of something that happens within Pax ending that doesn't happen in the other two. Um, ooh, come on, get down, get down, get down. Okay. But I'll get more into that later on. As to why Pax ending is my favorite ending. I don't want to spoil it. I'll probably show all three endings and then I'll have a little bit of commentary during the credits at the end as to why those are my three different why those are my three favorite endings. And then I'll also give my Ooh, crap, 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 crap. Oh gosh, dang it. I gotta start playing more smart. I'm rushing in with an MK eleven of all guns. It's not a it's not exactly, you know, a FAMAS or something like that. How far back am I? Oh, I'm not that far back. A couple, uh, maybe about 10 enemies back or so. It's not that bad. Got that guy. Gonna nade them out. There, he's dead. guy right around this corner. Oh, no, he's dead. Is it around this corner? Where is he? I can hear him shouting in Chinese. Maybe he's up there. I'm just gonna nade him out. Was it a bad nade if I do say so myself? Ooh, ooh, that was kind of a cool explosion. I actually remember this part a lot. I uh, was not playing smart at all, and yeah, they pop up right there. I got stuck on this part a lot my first time going through. So yeah, if it, this is your first time, especially first time on hard, and you're getting stuck right here at this part during the main, during the ending of the game. Yeah, don't don't worry, I did too. Or if you breeze right right by it, well, you're lucky. Ooh, the Ace 52 CQB. I think it's either the Ace 52 or the Ace 23. I want to say. Um, if you, you guys have ever heard of Level Cap, he's a big YouTuber, and uh, especially big on Battlefield. If you want to get really good at Battlefield and you like the game, you want to get better at it, get some tips, want to know which weapons would probably complement your playstyle the best, go and check out Level Cap on YouTube because he definitely helped me out, um, especially with Battlefield 4, not so much Battlefield 3, nothing against his videos, it's just I didn't watch him back when I played Battlefield 3 and stuff like that, but yeah, he he's probably one of the biggest reasons as to why I I don't want to say good, but I'm better at Battlefield 3, or 4. Oh, crap. How, how am I supposed to get down? Too used to the multiplayer. Multiplayer, your character has like an, an infinite amount of parachutes, and we gotta start all the way from the back again, don't we? 
an infinite amount of parachutes and you can jump from basically any height and yeah no worries you'll, you'll make it all right come on you're the last guy pop up your head there i'll just need you out and i can pop up your head oh where do you go shooting at me Oh, that guy. Get out of here. Well. Yep, RPG. Ugh. I completely forgot about what I was saying, if I was saying anything at all. Oh, level cap. Man. Yeah, he, he definitely has been one of the main reasons as to, you know, just how I've gotten so much better at the game. And once you once you start playing the game, the, uh, quote unquote, the way it was meant to be played. Like, if you, start, if you start playing Battlefield, how I started playing Battlefield, and I, I played Call of Duty for the longest time. I loved Call of Duty. I was really big into Black Ops. The Black Ops series, uh, more specifically Black Ops 1, uh, was my favorite Call of Duty. And I played those that Call of Duty a lot, and I played Battlefield 4 in the, sim in the same way I played Call of Duty, which is, you know, basically just running gun, so to speak, and uh, spraying prey, you know, running in, just, you know, spraying that you get kills, and you can play Call of Duty that way, and I would get on the top of the leaderboard, you know, MVP number one guy, um, a lot of the time, but you can't, you can't play Battlefield 3 that way unless you're playing Team Deathmatch, and you're using a PDW or another really close range high rate of fire weapon like FAMAS but that's an assault you know I'll give you an example you can't play it that way you gotta play it a different way you gotta use your cover you gotta uh, tap fire. oh crap you gotta tap fire which is to you know fire in short bursts I mean these are all tactics that a lot of people use in Call of Duty but not the majority you, you find the majority of the people playing Call of Duty are in their younger years, and this is where you get a lot of middle schoolers and early high schoolers. And then, you know, Battlefield, you start getting people in their 20s, late high schoolers, stuff like that, people in college, uh, more experienced gamers, so to speak, and who can handle, uh, you know, playing a bit more competitively, you know, you're not just, you're not just used to one play style, and if you try and change it up to them, they freak out. That's why whenever you see a lot of new people come in, I don't know. Oh, I am just getting suppressed. Can someone suppress that hell? I'm gonna get shot if I stay here. Ooh, come on, get down. There's a guy oh. right. Ooh, he's right there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I am scared right now. This is gonna make me look really lame. <laughs> Later on, ooh, hey, we do have anti-air. Good deal. Let's take a stinger and get rid of that helicopter, huh? What do you guys say? Alright. Did it leave? No, it's right there. Right, one shot on the helicopter. Multiplayer usually only takes two shots to take down the helicopter. We will see. Ooh, I don't think that second one hit it, though. I never got the hit marker for it. And I did fire at it pretty close. But... Yep, two to three shots. Uh, again, I'm not sure if that second shot hit. Maybe, you know, if you can see it in the footage, it did, in fact, hit. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Helicopter's gone. It's not going to be suppressing us anymore. And therefore, I don't care about it anymore. As long as it's gone and it's not a bother to me anymore, I do not care about it. It can do whatever it wants in helicopter heaven. That's all I got to say about that. I'm such an idiot sometimes. Alright, looks like we cleared the main... I saw, thought I got, saw a guy in the fire over there. We cleared the main deck of the Valkyrie. Are they... Did we? I hear shouting. Oh, I missed that guy. I, I did what the AIs did last mission. They just ran by with a bunch of guys. I just did the same thing. I don't know. Oh, oh. Game glitched a bit there. I didn't want to... I didn't want to jump over that, that fence. I was a little bit worried it was going to fall in the water. Um, oh, is it one more down? Or is it that one? Yeah, it's this one. They just weren't ready. 
Okay. I actually got it. Go ahead and open that door. Eyes open. My eyes are open. I wish I'm not going through this with my eyes closed. Don't exactly do that. It's not exactly how uh, I play my video games. My eyes closed. Unless, unless you know that w that was a video game. Imagine that. Imagine a video game where. Fucking motherfucker! Oh. Jesus, Rick! I'ma shot you in the face again. You made it back. Tombstone's still alive. Son of a bitch. We thought you were dead, buddy. Yeah, man. Damn. After you guys left me. Where's Jinche? Got... Is he okay? You're still around. It's cool. And yes, Jinjay's safe. I'll take you to him. So, you know, Pac, Pac's back. Y'all thought he was dead? I thought he was dead too, but Pac, very much alive. You might have noticed he's got a bit more of a potty mouth on him. Does cuss a little bit more. Don't really have a problem with that, but it is a bit out of character from the Pac that we did know. Uh, you may not have noticed that in that last, you know, mini cutscene. But Irish and Pac, I'm, uh, I'm actually not going to commentate a bit much because they talk about it here. So. Literally crawling through a thousand yards of shit with a hole in your stomach to do that. You ain't getting any closer to hell than that, boy. Yeah, so, there you go. Pax, um, I don't believe the story gets a little bit... It doesn't get any more elaborated after that, but... Pack was injured, he had a bullet wound, and he was climbing through... It sounded like a steel pipe. It sounded like the ending of the movie Josh Shawshank Redemption. If you ever seen that to me. But, that's kind of how I took the pack. And, Frank really thought I was going to be able to kill them all that flashbang stunning them forgot about how the guys ran into the room oh well but that's always how I've kind of pictured you know pack escaping from that that airport that area where all the last of the air forces get the uh, chains men were kind of the ending to the movie of Shock and I don't know why Pictured it. Let's get on. I think that's the last guy. Alright. Yep. Oh shit. I didn't I didn't even know they were in there. Uh, um I really gotta play more tactically. I'm I'm playing a, what's called a Call of Duty style. Uh, I've been rushing in, and I've been doing it that way. Uh, you can't be doing that. Though, I'm doing exactly the opposite. Of what I said you can't be doing. Oh wait, I, hang, hang on, I got an idea. Take these guys. I know they're here. Watch so out! Okay, clear! Nice. Sir, we are on our way. Tombstone is en route. I just thought I would only have to do that, uh, that, uh, first grenade and not mess with my second grenade launcher, but it worked out well in the end. Better life than never, squad. You gotta get him out of here. Easy. You have been unconscious for several days. You shouldn't even be speaking. My voice is my weapon. If I am silent, I am nothing. They come for me. Cheng's men. Look, take this. We need to get you out of I here. I have put down my guns, Captain. My brothers will not kill me. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Your brothers think you're already dead. You're a target, like us. An assignment. Search and destroy. Then they have to see me. Know that I still breathe. They will forget their mission and lay down their arms. So we let them in and see what happens? Yes. That was a joke. Irish Wrecker, cover to the door. I am serious. If we fight, it is over. I will open the door myself. I can't let you do that. Now you listen to me. They'll kill you the second they get through. That door is the only thing keeping you alive. With such an extreme trauma, he shouldn't even be up. I mean, this is the concussion talking. In this room, I am invisible. I am dead already. We all are. If I cannot show my face, if I cannot speak to my brothers without fear, then I have lost. I need to know where I stand. Open the door, Sergeant.
喂，兄弟，你别骗了。如果你愿意听我可以告诉你的事情 ，Don't do it, don't fucking do it. Stand down. 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 Stand it's Chang. They have a warship north of us. That son of a bitch. He's gonna bury the truth and everyone with it. Can we strike it? We got nothing. Nothing left. Not even C4. There's no shortage of C4, but what the hell are we gonna do with that? Give me your rib and all the goddamn C4 you got left. You can't be serious, Irish. We are. Absolutely, sir. All right, Pack. Show him. Ricker, Irish, come with me. Hannah, are you sure about this? Jinjian, your body is healthy. Godspeed. Listen up. I want a rib loaded with C4, hooked up and ready to go now. Hurry it up. We're on our way. That was amazing. Is he always like that? On his good days. Sure you're not married to him? I'm married to what he stands for. Alright, so I am back guys. So that was mm, the second to last cutscene, so to speak, that you will see hey, in Battlefield 4. Um for you know, sure. clear up the story for all those who didn't get it or missed a couple Until things. Jin J was essentially gonna try and become the new leader of China. I'm not sure what their government type is off the top of my head so I don't want to use the term like president and assume that it's a democracy and be wrong on that if it is a democracy then he's a president if it's a different type of government form then you know we you know whatever government it is their leader is essentially what Jin Jae was going to try and be he was you know, going freedom of speech you know making it more democratic definitely and uh, you know giving people more more chances for control Admiral Chang didn't like this, so he tried to kill Jin Jae, and then he blamed it, the killing of Jin Jae, on the U.S. See, a lot of China supported Jin Jae and what he was doing, and then Admiral Chang killed him, buried the truth that he, well, tr not, he didn't kill him, as you can see, he's still alive, but tried to kill him, uh, made everyone believe that Jin Jae was dead, and then blamed it on the U.S. and started this big old war to try and, you know, just, you know, make everything harder, the truth harder to uncover by anyone. So that's where Admiral Chang comes into it. So this entire time, we you know we rescued Jin Jae out of Shanghai, and that's what we did when we first met um, you know Agent Kovic and Hannah and the guy in the bandages who is Jin Jae. If you didn't catch that either, and um, when we were in the prison with uh, um, what was it uh, Dempsey? Not, it was not Dempsey. That's Call of Duty Zombies. Oh, crap. Can't think of the dude, the Russian dude. That, uh, from Battlefield 3, reference to him. It'll come to me. Uh, I'm not gonna busy myself thinking about it. When we were in there, you know, we were being interrogated about what our mission was in Shanghai. Well, that's, that's what they were wondering. Like, who did you take out of Shanghai? They wanted us to, at, they didn't know if Jin J was alive or not. So when Irish said in Shanghai, you know, to do the bandages and said it was Hannah's husband, you know, whatever. Um, Admiral Chang knew at that point that, you know, hey, Jin J is still alive and, you know, that's who they're talking about. So, now they're trying to kill Jin J to complete their initial mission of, you know, you know, stopping him, stopping Jin J from becoming leader of China. And Admiral Chang wants to become leader of China and basically, you know, be a dictator. This is essentially what's going on. It's just Admiral Chang's uh, rise to power and that's all he's trying to do. And, you know, that's, you know... Don't worry. We're That's the story secure. of Battlefield 4 yeah, right. in an absolute nutshell. Made in Sweden. So what we're doing now so is, you know, all the Chinese shoulders and Jin Jae and the Valkyrie and Pack, everyone over there who know the truth are on the Valkyrie. Admiral Cheng's warship right now is targeting the Valkyrie, trying to blow it up. So here are the three endings. 
You know, right right now, you know, we have a remote detonator for the C4 that Hannah's holding. You can see it in her hand right there. She's going to click it, but it's not going to work. So, oh wait, no, actually, hang on. So Let me wait a second. I'm gonna wait Hannah, this. hit the switch. Let's see. Hannah, hit the switch. Red! Something's yeah. wrong. She's clicking it. There's no connection. What's going on? Wrecker. Fuck! Give it to me. We gotta go back down. Okay. Well, only one and of then, us needs you know, to they go. start talking. That we gotta go back down. Wrecker. And then, like. Do you have another well, one of those C4 charges? Only another C4 charge to, you know, Good. activate Give the last one. Good. Give it to me. One. So we have the last you are C4 charge. Your life, Here are the three innings. I'm one Irish, of the, remember? You gotta have, you gotta one. sacrifice one of these guys. You gotta sacrifice Give it to Hannah, me, send her down and blow up the Wrecker. Admiral Chang ship. I risk my life for my country Irish every day. And blow up Admiral Give me the charge. Ship, or you the can wait needs you alive, Hannah. and Admiral Chang will not going destroy down, the period. Come on, Wrecker. Now I'm gonna choose Hannah. No, no reason Wrecker. for it. I did say when my favorite thing. When the detonator goes green, you'll push the button. Hannah! Admiral Chang the ship. The only reason I say that is because what you get for the city, you get Hannah's dog back, and you get Hannah's dog back, and you have those in multiple. If you set Iris down, you get Iris in one.